Do you find yourself always typing your contact information when you're writing emails with Yahoo? If so, this video is for you. I'll show you how to create a signature in Yahoo Mail today on Tuesday Tech Training. Hello and welcome to today's Tuesday Tech Training. My name is Jennifer Stewart. I'm the owner of Gateway Productivity and I'm a tech and productivity trainer. Today I'll show you how to create a signature in Yahoo Mail. A signature is a block of text, usually with contact information. So you can have your name and all of your contact information, the things that you would normally write each time that you write an email. Yahoo Mail has a way to automatically create that and have it show up on all the emails that you send. The way that you can access the Yahoo Mail signature is by going to your settings. So from your inbox, you'll click the settings button on the right side. And then this will all pop up. You want more settings that's near the bottom here. Once you click on that, you'll go to all of the settings options for your account. And we're going to go to writing email because the signature has to do with writing an email. So we'll go in here. You can see it's giving me a preview of a signature. I have nothing here. So it's saying, how are you doing? This is basically what your email would look like when it went out because there's no signature at the end. So here about midway down is where the signature is. We can turn it on and then we can fill it in. What I would recommend is if you would like a picture to be in this signature, you're going to need to copy it from somewhere else and paste it in here. Unfortunately, Yahoo does not have a way to add an image. So you have to copy and paste it in. That's a sneaky way to get it in there. So what I would recommend is create your signature maybe in a Word document and have it look just the way you want and then copy and paste it in here. I've already created my signature in a Word document. So I will go grab that, I will copy it, and then we'll go back over here and I will paste it in. And here you can see, even though it doesn't have the option to add images, when you copy and paste them in, they will come through. And there's no save button here. It automatically saves. And as long as you have it turned on, it will work. So let's go test this. We'll go back to the inbox and then we'll click our compose button. And you can see it automatically adds my signature in there. And then you can type right above it as usual. And it will look nice and pretty like this when it goes out to your recipients. If you decide you'd like to turn it back off, just go back to your settings, more settings, and then writing email and you can toggle it on and off with this button right here. And you can see this is what it looks like because we have the signature turned off and then it will save what you previously put in there. So if you toggle it back on, then you've got your signature back on. And this is just showing you what it would look like if you had a something that you had written above the, the signature and then the signature below that. Have you had a light bulb moment from this training? If so, please let me know in the comments below. And if you have a question, you can put that in the comments as well. I'll get back to you as soon as possible with an answer. You can also give the video a thumbs up or you could share it with someone who could benefit from the information. And don't forget to subscribe by clicking the red button below. Once you do that, you'll see a bell icon. If you click on the bell icon, you'll receive notifications each time a new video is posted. Thanks for joining me and I'll see you next time.